Welcome to my NHL Historic Rebuild, the 2002 and 2003 Atlanta Thrashers. We start at the 2002 NHL Entry Draft. With the first round pick, we are going to select Duncan Keith instead of who they originally drafted. Duncan Keith would be their franchise defenseman that they desperately needed. Duncan Keith would be a stabilizing force on the back end. He has a really promising pedigree already and will surely be a Hall of Famer when it's all said and done. The first trade we are going to make is trading Ray Ferraro and Frenchstack Cabriolet to the Carolina Hurricanes for a 2003 fifth round pick and a 2004 third round pick. Those picks will be used to select Joe Pavelski in 2003 with the fifth round pick and Alex Edler with the third round pick in 2004. Ray Ferraro should be given a chance to play for a contending team. Cabriolet isn't going to have a future with this team after 2003. Joe Pavelski would give the Thrashers a pure goal scorer to fit alongside Ilya Kovalchuk, and it could open up the lines to trade Dan Healy if necessary. Although it would take a while for him to develop as a goal scorer, some options. Alex Edler would be a top four defenseman for the Thrashers as well. The second move the Thrashers should make is cut Frederick Kasavi and Passy Nermanen. These two goalies are not going to cut it as NHL goalies. Third move we are going to make is trading Yannick Tramley, Shane Donovan, and a first round pick in 2004, which the San Jose Sharks would use to select Martin Hansel for Mika Kiprasov. The San Jose Sharks were stacked in goal. They already had a proven number one goalie in Evgeny Nabokov, and they had Vezina Toskala as their number three goalie. This definitely made Mika Kiprasov expandable. The Sharks' depth was really in goal, and they needed to add depth on offense and on defense. So this trade would help fill some voids that they needed. Keith Yandel The fourth move we make is trading Tony Harkick, Tommy Kalio, and Brian Poffier to the Chicago Blackhawks for a third round, a ninth round pick in 2003, sorry, which we select Brian Elliott with. A 2004 fourth round pick we select. This trade is just to clear some cap space or just to clear some players off the roster so that the players we draft will get it. Finally, we are going to move some dead weight off the team is Patrick Stefan. Well, at this point in his career, he wasn't a dead weight, so he still was worth some value. So we trade Patrick Stefan and a second round pick in 2005 to the Detroit Red Wings in exchange for Pavel Datsuk and a 2004 seventh round pick, which is used to select Pekka Reading. 
Patrick Stefan was still very young at the time and had some potential if he had the right system to play it. Which was who was selected in the second round by the Red Wings with the pick that they got would be a great puck moving defenseman for them, which they really needed. Pavel Datsuk was coming off a great rookie year with the Red Wings. Uh, with the depth that they had, Datsuk was expandable at that time. He would give the Thrashers a true number one goalie of the future. Or number one center, sorry. This definitely possibly gives them a true number one center. Along with the incoming players that we will be drafting. Pecorine is going to be another good Finnish goalie who we pair alongside. He would be at least still in the draft. And we take him here because he, we have now hired good scouts. In the 2003 NHL draft, we have some notable changes. We select Patrice Bergeron, Joe Pavelski, Dustin Bufflin, and Brian Elliott, instead of who they norm originally drafted in those with those picks. So after all is said and done, the Atlanta Thrashers would have added via trade Mika Kiprasov and Pavel Dotsu. They would have added by draft Duncan Keith, Joe Pavelski, Dustin Bufflin, Patrice Bergeron, Alex Edler, and Mikhail Grabowski. They would have lost Ray Ferraro, Francisek Cavalier, Yannick Trambley, Shane Donovan, Tony Harker, Tommy Khalil, Brian Pothier, Patrick Stefan, a 2004 first round pick, a 2005, 2005 second round pick. The Atlanta Thrashers started with only two good players on their team. Now they have a ton of depth and are loaded with young talent for the future. Next. I will be rebuilding the 2002, 2003, 